I'm a non-binary trans woman who is also a lesbian. My pronouns are fairy fairy self. So love me. Follow me. I'm a bearded woman. The smirk. It's always the smirk. Tinder is full of transphobes. Like, I just have to believe that because if that's not true, then it just means that I'm not nearly as pretty as I thought I was. Pretty privilege is a very real thing. I mean, most people swipe right on somebody on dating apps because they're good looking. Literally the first thing you see about somebody, usually. But having a big dick and being pretty, probably not. Unless maybe you have a pretty dick. No, so it's just, <laughs> I'm done. I am so done talking about all this. I never thought in all my years of making videos like this that I would talk about penis this much as a lesbian. I refuse to believe that I am the problem because my mental health simply could not take it. I'm not here to talk about how pretty or not pretty this person may or may not be. This is the real issue, right? They are allowing themselves to be validated or unvalidated by others. It is no one's job, no one's job, to make you feel worthy, to make you feel good about yourself. Self-love is not attachment. Attachment in this case being the approval of others, needing the approval of others. And it's very clear that you are very passionate about this, right? And when passion meets attachment, it's often confusing used with love. And it's not about you being a problem. It's accepting the fact that you are not for everyone. I am not for everybody. Now in saying that, I don't think this is the route to take either. I like how there's a man over here that's trying to speak on women's rules to a woman, correcting them, and then also trying to say that nobody would date women with beards. Happens all the time. Men flirt with me, women flirt with me, non-binary people especially flirt with me like, every single day, no matter where I go. Okay, great that people are flirting with you, like no problem there, but not great that you're wandering around town looking like a whole dude, pretending or actually being oblivious, completely oblivious to that fact. You are not female. You are not societally viewed as a female or a woman. Stop acting like you are. This is also not good for your mental health and well-being. And while we're at this, why is the whole bearded woman thing becoming a thing? And we're not talking about biological women that have a little hair on their chin or myself because I'm Italian. I got a little mustache. Like I'll, you know, like I'll pluck every once in a while, get like bleach that shit rip it off. We're talking about this. My beard and body hair is feminine. Hang on a minute, body hair is not feminine. Throughout the past seven years, I've explored who I am, where I'm from, what my forms of expression are, who am I interacting with the world around me. Thank you for saying this, actually. Uh, this is the point I always try to make. Identity isn't all about self and internal. It is also external, how you move about in the world, how others interact with you and see you. Since growing and learning, I've been able to see role models who live as their highest, most authentic self. I want to try and share my journey here on TikTok. I'll take the bad with the good. I think representation is so important. As a baby tran, I saw that through drag queens to see someone in bearded excellence and understand what it means to be pretty and to feel feminine in your body hair. I guess you can feel feminine and that very much is an internal experience, but the world will still view you as a male. And saying this isn't meant to make somebody feel badly about themselves, right? It's meant to simply make them aware of how their energy is viewed and comes across in society. Example, you feeling like a woman, but looking completely like a man and being male, going into female spaces is probably going to make most women in there feel unsafe. I'm just saying be aware and don't do shit like that. To me, the rest is self-expression and most of the Western world just doesn't care. I swear the stories that come out are just getting crazier and crazier. And I know a lot of you have been asking me where I get my articles, my sources, my information from. And I wanted to tell you about ground news, and yes, they are sponsoring this video. I would be lying if I said it wasn't very difficult when discussing topics like this to not constantly get sucked into an echo chamber, whether that's the left or the right. I swear by ground news, it is now an app 
and a website. They work super smart and hard at not only calling out political biases in the news, but making sure that you're aware of different viewpoints. I'm super excited to support them and have them sponsor this video because I think what they are doing is extremely important. Let me show you an example. I mean, look at this story about a new book that claims that Elon Musk became anti-woke because of his daughter's gender transition. We can see here that 19 sources reporting on this story and most of them lean right. You can get a quick summary up top of the left and the right viewpoints. And then I can actually read all the articles related to this topic by clicking on the links. And we can switch between right, left, and center news sources, comparing the headlines and the articles to see how they frame the issues. This particular article falls into the ground news blind spot category, specifically for stories that are receiving either very little coverage or complete lopsided coverage. They have an entire news feed of these stories, so you can step outside of your echo chamber if you want. We love that here. And we can even follow breaking news or blind spots based on our own interests, like LGBT, for example. If you want to check them out and be better equipped to debate people with different views, click the link in the description below or go to ground.news slash Ariel and start seeing through manipulation and biased news. You will get 30% off if you use my link. And now back to the video. Saying that you're better than someone else is also not the way. I'm not a fan of this craziness. One video that you guys wanted me to comment on that went viral last week is a video of a gay guy who is supposedly dating a girl and my thoughts on this might surprise you, but maybe not if you've been watching my content for quite some time. Yes, I am gay and yes, I also have a girlfriend. This is my partner, Samantha Wynn Greenstone, and we've been uh, together for six years. We just celebrated our anniversary, and we wanted to open up a little bit about our relationship because it's been so confusing for a lot of you. I am gay. I don't label myself as bisexual. I My preference is men, but I uh, have been in this closed, exclusive relationship with Samantha for six years, and it has been a dream. And... Uh, not to say it hasn't been confusing for us at times, but it is important to be open and honest about these sorts of things. I actually think this guy has it more together than people think. Technically, you can know that you're same-sex attracted, be open about it, but date someone of the opposite sex. Like Most people do it before they come out, right? I did it. Now, why he's doing this when he knows he's not attracted to her? I mean, it might be a little bit strange, but it's completely their concern. Like, it has nothing to do with me. I don't care. Buck Angel said we used to call this a fa- Shay said, you know what? They seem happy. They're not like ex-gay Christians doing it out of shame or self-hatred. Maybe they just see each other as platonic soulmates. Yeah, maybe it is more of a like companionship for them. Who knows? I know. The only thing I know for sure at this point is they are both adults. They are both consenting. They're both okay with it. And they are not trying to change the way the other feels. So it's fine by me. Hi, I'm Nikki Dreammaker. I'm a non-binary trans woman who is also a lesbian. My pronouns are fairy fairy self. So love me, follow me. It'd be great to talk to you. And to all the transphobes out there, please don't talk to me. Because you guys are being very mean. You remember, trans rights are human rights. Okay, no. My friend Marcus said it best in his recent video. And when we talk about dating, you hear a lot of trans activists complain about nobody wants to date them. Who would voluntarily get involved with a trans activist who is full of hate, full of anger, and who is, to some degree, a little bit scary for, like, the regular person. And you're not deeply involved in this debate, of course, because I'm not scared of them. I'm just guessing it's a turnoff for most people when they hear some say, respect me, love me, or else. I really am so sick of all this. It, it's all about me and my feelings. Because this is what y'all are starting to look like. There are non-binary people, there are trans men who, who lactate, there are those who go by he, him, different pronouns. It's just inclusive to everybody. It is not hurting cis women to say chest feeding, but it does hurt those who go by other pronouns to continue to say breastfeeding, especially if they have body dysmorphia. What about the women who are upset at you guys calling us chest feeders, calling our vaginas bonus holes? Why is it always about your feelings and nobody else's? Why are no one else's feelings ever taken into account? Why are trans women are living their best lives untucked? I mean, visibly untucked. Seen as more important than the people that might be a little bit about it, including kids. This is overcorrection 
reflection of past mistakes. As a society, did we once not fully accept gay or trans people? Yeah, but is that how it is now? No. I am just sitting here having gender and I am wondering to myself, okay, so when trans masks go on testosterone, a lot of the times it'll turn their little nub into a big nub. And I am a trans femme who had bottom surgery, which means they turned my eggplant into the other thing. And I am just so curious that if I started taking testosterone, not saying, not saying I'm gonna, but if I did, would it turn my little nub into a big nub? That's a great question, and to be honest, now I kind of want to know. But I'm fairly certain the answer is no. What actually disturbs me about this is the fact that this person is speaking and acting like a five-year-old. Even sitting on the floor like one. It's giving fetish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to check out our sponsor, Ground News. You can click the link in the description below to check them out. Make sure you support companies who support this channel, and especially love Ground News because they are all about leaving your echo chamber and listening to all sides of all debates. Other than that, I will see you guys back here in a few days with a brand new video. Until then, love you. Keep calling out the bullshit. Bye.